loves welcome to another vlog i'm so excited because i have been consistent we have been on time i'm literally just about to upload well it's already uploaded it uploaded over the weekend but i was a bit hungover on sunday and i didn't do the, thumb, the thumbnail and actually make it go live so it's monday i just got home from work i did 6 30 till 2 30 today and we're ready to make the vlog go live and then this is the next one that i'm starting right now so we're on schedule and i'm so happy with it i'm feeling good i feel it's i think officially week three if you don't include like the first week where i did a trial shift in my first shift it's like third official week of barista life maybe even fourth i could be going that quickly and i'm so happy honestly i just feel like truly like it's 3 25 and i just did what is that like a seven hour shift i think 6 30 to 2 30 something like that and i still feel like so energized i honestly didn't realize the time and left like a little bit late than what i was rested on to but i still felt like i could have kept going like i don't find coffee shop work draining which is the best like obviously your feet hurt a little bit because you're on your feet that entire time and like if i did any longer of a shift like if i started at 4 30 i'd probably be a little tired but I still, I feel like so, so energized and like it's almost the start of my like Ellie Kate day now that I'm home from my Brewster life. I feel like so far I've kept them quite separate, which I also did at my first Brewster job, the one I had in Brisbane. Um, I very much kept those two things like quite separate. Like the girls at work definitely knew that I did content and I'd like get invited to events on the weekend and do different things, especially because I'd travel down to the Goldie sometimes and they knew that I was an assistant to influencers and stuff like that but i haven't really spoken about it at this job yet because i don't know it's just kind of fun it's like a bit of hannah montana i remember feeling like i was fully hannah montana in my last job because as you guys know i was like working barista life in brisbane living at my mom's but then i'd come down to the gold coast and be an assistant and in the influencer space and it just it felt super fun and yeah very much like a hannah montana kind of life so I'm enjoying that. Obviously, it won't be like that forever because I'm sure people will find out my Instagram and content and stuff like that, which is fine. But it is fun. And I, what am I doing this Sabo? I'm just going to make that vlog live. I'm going to have something to eat. I'm going to have some rice cakes with avo and tuna, I think. I'm still finding, like, navigating what food to buy, what meals to have. A little bit like I'm just adjusting so this morning because I started at 6 30 I actually ate brekkie at home but it was something I prepped so I've been prepping my own gluten-free bacon and egg sandwich toasty kind of thing so all I have to do is get it out of the fridge and leave and then I put it in the sandwich press at work to eat on my break because usually when you have a lunch break at like 9 a.m 9 30 I still feel like breakfast food personally so i've been prepping those but because i actually started at 6 30 i ate it at home and then i had this really yummy pasta that i took with me i meal prepped it like at the end of last week it's like a healthy ish bacon and mushroom pasta i'm gonna make it this week so i can show you because i got the i copied the recipe from sarah my housemate she is a really good cook so i'm gonna show you that but it was delicious so anyway i've had a brekkie i've had a lunch but i still feel like i need some sustenance because it's 3 30 I'm gonna go to the gym at 4.30. Oh, I feel like there's lots to catch you up on, but I've already been rambling for so long. So I'm just gonna sit here, do a few little ad mini things. Cause as I said, I went out on the weekends, was just spent yesterday kind of watching movies, in bed sort of thing. So I'm just gonna like, feel like I'm organized on my Monday, look at my calendar for the week, I need to put some washing on. But the thing is, I don't feel guilty about it. Like it feels good. I've been to work i got to relax yesterday watch a movie which i never watch movies ever and now i'm just yeah cleaning my room doing my like sunday reset type things but on a monday afternoon and i don't mind it i don't feel guilty about it it feels good oh my god guys new recce I just made, obviously my avo and tuna on rice cakes, but I put this dip on. Hang on, I need a spare hand. I added this dip that I have. It's beetroot and cashew dip with feta and balsamic vinegar. This is actually from Aldi, but it's a knockoff of the, I think it's Red Rock Deli that makes it. The one from Red Rock Deli, like from Woolies, is my favorite dip of all time. That with like some camembert 
and like a watercracker. My favorite thing on a cheese platter ever. But I found the Aldi version. So I bought it the other day. And I just thought to put it on top <clears throat> of this concoction. And it is elite. It's so good. I feel like if I was having this as like a proper meal, I mean, it kind of is meal. I made three. I could probably make a fourth and then I'd actually crumble some feta on too. I feel like that would just be like another level bougie rice cake vibes. We are at the gym, 4.30 class, and let's go. I was planning on vlogging my gym session. I literally just walked out, I'm in the car park still, I'm trying to get in the light from the gym. Um, but I didn't vlog anything because I literally was not feeling it. Like my mood just went pew the whole time, which is like annoying because obviously like the actual working out component gives you endorphins and yeah like my body feels good whatever but I'm just not an afternoon slash evening trainer I hate that it's literally dark it's almost pitch black like I can see a little bit of like light still but it's like the sun's gone completely and it's 5 30 which is just the thing about winter like this is the earliest afternoon class that there is at this gym and I still am finished like when it gets dark so I just don't love that and I don't know I'm just not vibing I think what I need to do is my old routine when I was a barista back in the day you're gonna be sick of me saying that but my old routine was I would go home get changed or sometimes I wouldn't I'd would go straight no I think I usually got changed because I would go to a gym really close to my house and I would train straight up straight from work like sometimes i'd eat something from work straight away or i'd just have a snack on the way or stim free pre-workout maybe it's because i haven't been having pre-workout and the placebo really helps um because obviously no caffeine in the arvos it's a stim free that i would have but yeah i used to do that and smash it out from like 2 or 3 p.m and then when i got home it was still light got some shit done before it was dinner time so anyway that's just a rant of me like still adjusting to this routine because I'm not really enjoying like it's such a drag coming home having an awkward amount of time to do things then coming to the gym and then it being dark anyway first world problems sorry to start this off on a negative note I didn't mean to I'm gonna stop at Coles get a couple of things because I don't really know I'm trying to just use up what I've got in the fridge for dinner but I need to like add a couple of components to make it a proper meal <laughs> so gonna see what happens maybe I'll get myself a little treat I don't know I had more time to think and I realized maybe I'm just grumpy because I might be getting my period I'm not sure we are just we're unconfirmed because when I lost my phone at Coachella I obviously lost all the everything on it including my stardust app which is where i track my period on so we're just like going in blind um should start tracking it from now but who knows so i was thinking that is maybe it because that whole experience just made me even more annoyed but you pretty much saw everything when i scanned it through i just got the things i can't get from aldi mainly because i'm an aldi girl now because we want to travel the world so you know got to sacrifice someone Except I'm trying these new wraps, gluten-free sweet potato wraps from the brand Be Free. I was looking at them because I'd never seen them and then another lady picked them up as well, put them in her trolley and she said, those are great, you should put a bit of oil, toast them, whatever. Bob, your uncle. I was like, sold, babe. Thanks so much. That's all. No one cares. I'll show you what I make for dinner. Sarah's here. She's going to show me her Adore Beauty Hall, Perks of Living with the Girls. We, between both of us, we will have a shopping haul pretty much every other day. Yeah, it's, good. <laughs> it's so fun. I literally, every time there's a package at the bottom of our apartment building, we check it and we're like, it's probably for us. It's always for us. It's always for us, actually. There's six <laughs> units here and it's always for us. <laughs> She's not wrong. So everything's just cooking away. I already had beef strips in the fridge. I've got some chippies, homemade chippies in the air fryer. And this is what I put on the beef plus fresh garlic, like minced and mixed together. And then this is what I put on the chippies, so spudlight, garlic powder, chicken salt, rosemary, and then normal salt. 
and then this is what I'm gonna put on the wrap. It's gonna bulk it up with salads and then also put some sour cream and then maybe sauce, like barbecue sauce or garlic. Oh, I don't know. I don't know, because I was almost gonna try and make it like a gyros kind of vibe, but I didn't don't have tzatziki, I've got sour cream. I don't know what I'm gonna put on. And these are the wraps. I'm thinking I might even have two wraps because I'm just bulking it up with a lot of salad. And these are quite low in calories, so I might have two. Oh, that's good recipe inspo on there, actually. I actually didn't time that very well, so the beef's ready, but the chippies are not, and I kind of forgot how many chippies I made. Oh, they're almost ready, I guess. So maybe I'll just do one wrap, eat it first, and then eat my chippies after when they're ready. The lady said she puts it in the pan with some oil, so I just left it in there with the, the beef juices. I don't know what that's gonna be like. We'll see. I just need to warm it up, basically. All right, that's what the wrap looks like. Do cheese first, cucumber, tomato, some red onion. Actually, I might do this sour cream now. And then lettuce. Oh my god, yum! Oh my god, have I made it way too full? Probably. Yum! So, this is what I've been meal prepping for work. I just do a bit of this burger cheese from Aldi. It melts really nicely. It's kind of similar to the one that we use at work. Um, a piece of bacon. My egg just flipped it over so it doesn't, it's not like super runny. Some spinach on there. Some barbecue sauce. And then I just toast it in the sandwich press at work. And ideally I'll have like a little protein yogurt, like individual little thingy to take with me, which is also super easy. And that obviously adds more protein because one egg isn't like that much protein, but it's still good. And then I decided to have two wraps and not eat most of the chips. So I can do two wraps with some chippies on each tomorrow night as well. Now that we've had that little impromptu cooking with Ellie segment, I hope you like it. Let me know if you like seeing what I eat and like cooking and stuff. I just feel like it's natural. I just enjoy thinking of things. I mean, not all the time. Sometimes it's drag, like buying ingredients all the time, thinking of things, but most of the time I really enjoy it. And I just always like come up with something new and just, I don't know, I'm the kind of person that just like makes shit up to eat. And like, I don't really ever follow recipes or anything. I just like put random stuff together and like try and be healthy, wholesome most of the time with whole foods and have a bit of fun with it sometimes so let me know if you like the food meal inspiration because i enjoy but i'm obviously about to jump in the shower it's been a big day i need to have a shower and go to sleep because i start at 4 30 tomorrow but let's do a self-care with ellie segment because i am about to try the new well it's newish but i haven't tried it yet the body wash from the brand wild if you guys didn't know you probably do because I always share it on Instagram that I use the wild natural deodorant. It's like a refillable eco-friendly deodorant. So you just keep the case. How cute is this one, by the way? And then you refill it. It's all natural. It even has my name on it, which is really cute. Um, but yeah, they launched a similar concept, but in a body wash. So I got this beautiful cream colored canister, which is so me. And then this is the body wash itself i got one of my favorite scents that i get in the deodorant cotton which just smells like really delicious and fresh my other favorite scent is sea salt and coconut no coconut and vanilla sea salt and cotton they're like my three favorites so i'm just gonna pop this you just literally put the refill bottle in here and then that's that so i'm gonna try that i've just been going through my current body wash before i replace that because we don't like waste around here and then i also got oh what did i get recently they sent me a package just last week and i got a, lots of refills of the deodorant which never go astray oh and then i got coconut vanilla in the shampoo bar which i actually tried um for the first time because i coincidentally ran out of my shampoo it looks like i haven't even touched it but i swear i have it's just like held its shape really well um and it was nice. I have no complaints. I, it smelled really good. It lathered really nicely. Like, I hate the feeling of um, when you use a bar soap and your skin feels like so clean that it feels like 
like what's the it just feels like weird like plasticky almost i hate that feeling so i was worried my hair was gonna feel like that but it didn't so love that and i love what it says on the bottom where does it say it i thought it was really cute the planet shouldn't pay the price for you to smell nice so that's what they're all about it's eco-friendly there's no nasties or natural if you wanted to try anything of that and that really aligns with your values they now have deodorant they've got body wash the shampoo and i think i just received oh a little travel size deodorant and i have a code wild ek for 20 percent off if you do want to try anything i think it's really worth it for your body and for the planet so there's my little recommendation i can confidently recommend the deodorant and the shampoo and i'm gonna try the body wash when i get in the shower right now good morning it is 4 5 i have to leave in 10 minutes so i can start work 4.30 I woke up at like 3.45 made some Vegemite toast it's the only thing I can stomach like the minute I wake up at this early hour I just food sometimes makes me feel nauseous like so early in the morning but if I go to work have coffee on an empty stomach no good Hello, I just got home from work. It is such a chilly day, but such a beautiful day at the same time. The sunrise this morning. I wish I could have got my camera out, but we literally got smashed at work this morning. So it was really busy. And every chance I got just a quickly glimpse up because my head was down at the coffee machine. Oh, the sunrise was just so unreal. So it's a beautiful morning. I'm gonna have some lunch because it's lunchtime. And what am I gonna do? I don't know. I'll think about it and I'll get back to you. All right, I'm so excited to have Hello, you can't see me, but I'm so excited to have one of those wraps again. I have one spare and then I'm gonna have two for dinner and I've got some barbecue chicken, which I'm very excited about. Oh, that's quite a lot, actually. Okay, I'm actually getting a little concerned because I woke up with a sore throat and I thought it was just because I slept with my mouth open, but I have been getting progressively worse as the day's gone on, which is, not great and I'm scared that I'm getting sick. It's just all come on today. And yeah, my throat's not getting better. I feel like I've got a headache. So this afternoon I honestly might just have a nap. I'm gonna make some greens, some naked harvest greens, have some armor force and not do anything crazy. I'm not even gonna go to the gym. It's yeah, I'm just gonna chill and hopefully get better and squash it. So it, I wake up feeling fine tomorrow. Look at how beautiful golden hour is in our apartment obsessed i just had the biggest and best nap of my life i woke up at quarter past four don't remember what time i went to sleep i think it was like two something so that's good but i'm literally just gonna go get all the remedies i can think of at the shops that i don't already have and make this go away because i do not feel very crash hot right now all right this is my healthy girl haul because it's all it's all in your head, it's all in my mindset. I'm not sick, I am not sick. Chamomile, vanilla and Manuka honey tea because I didn't have any chamomile and I have lots of peppermint. I have that pretty much every night but I think I should alternate, have lots of that. Day and night cotton flu, usually I resist taking this but if I actually really want to go on ASAP, I'll take it. Usually I just go the natural like food approach, lots of veggies, greens, powder, all that stuff. I picked up these instant Tom Yum noodles, gluten free, before I found the rest of the soup section because they were all in different spots. I thought it was, I had limited options. But I thought I could have these on their own or potentially with the soup. I don't really know what Tom Yum, I mean, it says it here. Kaffir lime, lemongrass. Oh, it's got a hint of chili. Shit. Anyway, I thought that might be good. And then I found the soup in the fridge. Chicken and sweet corn. The chicken and vegetable one was not gluten free, which was super weird and disappointing. Some butter menthols, I know these don't really do anything, but I just picked them up at the register because I like them. And some straight OJ, and that's everything. Please help me get better by the morning. All right, I had my chicken soup for dinner and my noodles. It was actually really yummy. I've literally got a moon milk, a tea, and my cotton flu. And I'm gonna go to bed early 
and I hope for the best. Look at this. Oh my gosh. The sunrises have just been unreal lately. Are you serious? It looks like the sky is on fire at the bottom. Oh my god, unreal. Alright, so this morning I'm having a banana smoothie with honey and vanilla protein. Vegemite toast, because <laughs> I don't feel like eating anything. Oh my goodness. And then chamomile, honey, and vanilla tea. Hello, another day, another shift at work. It's actually, kind of feels like my weekend now though, because lately I've been working Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then I have Thursday and Friday off, and then I work Saturdays as well. So I'm really loving that little routine. So when I finish on Wednesday, even though that was a really short shift, just a little quick one. Um, I kind of feel like it's my weekend, which is fun. It's like I get two Fridays. It's great. I love it. So, stopped at Aldi on the way home. I genuinely just feel like this vlog has been what I eat and what I buy at the grocery store. <laughs> so, honestly, at the start of the week, nothing else that interesting happens because I'm working and then when I come home I've just been chilling obviously I started getting sick yesterday which is not ideal so anyway so main reason was to stock up on things that the house needed we needed glass wrap toilet paper and oh eggs and spray oil they were all my urgent supplies that I needed and then I just stocked up on rice cakes more spinach because I plan what I'm gonna make tomorrow. I did really want to make that bacon and mushroom pasta that I told you about, but I think I'm gonna make like a tomato-y one because I've also got leftover like crushed tomatoes in the fridge. So I bought some pasta and I've got some chicken in the freezer. So I'll make like, I think I've got cream cheese as well left over from that other pasta that I made. So that'll be like a yummy tomato-y pasta dish. Got some tuna to have on the rice cake. And then, because I'm in my soup and noodles era, I got some chicken flavored gluten-free noodles in a cup because I haven't tried the Aldi ones yet. Hopefully they're good. Chicken and corn soup from the fridge section in Aldi. And then also from like where the canned stuff is, an old fashioned chicken soup in like a packet. So keen to try those. They're both gluten-free. Yeah, that one definitely is. And then, oh, and I also got this one. So I'm trying all different forms of soup that they have there. This one is the same brand and it's a faux hearty soup. Fragrant Vietnamese soup with beef and konjac noodles. It weirds me out that there's meat in these packets that are sitting on the shelf, but I guess so. It's gluten free, just add water, it's a single serve. So keen to try those. And then I needed some more peanut butter. So that's good. I feel like I'm sorted for the rest of the week. I didn't get any little treaties though, but I probably shouldn't have because I need to just focus on Greens, health, veggies. Oh, I could have also done fried rice with the chicken. Nah. And I've still got leftovers from my beef wraps, so I'm gonna have that for lunch right now because I'm so hungry, and then have a soup for dinner. Good morning, everyone. I watched State of Origin last night, had some chicken soup for dinner again, it was delicious, the one from Ali, um, but I fell asleep watching Origin, so I clearly should not have stayed up that late, I should have gone to bed early. I slept in this morning because it's my day off, I really, really needed it, I slept in until like 6.30, 6.45 I think. It's the most stunning day, as you can see from the sunshine on my desk right now. Yeah, I slept in, just kind of got myself a little bit ready so I feel nice and like presentable for the day so I can film some content. I'm jumping on a meeting now with my manager that I have every week. And then I just quickly made some brekkie and a coffee with the new um, marine collagen from Naked Harvest. Okay, it's 9am, I've got to jump on the meeting. I'm thinking about going for a walk afterwards though, so I put on some active wear. Um, but yeah, chat soon. I've just been at home doing stuff on my laptop all day, trying to rest. Just made a strawberry greens, then I can harvest one. Having my arm forks, because I've been putting it off all day. Oh, that's good, it masks the taste. So, come on. 
Sarah and I are just catching up. She just got home from work. And I haven't told the vlog yet, but Nathan's moving out. Sad face. Sad face, sad emoji. And he's actually away for this month training for his new job, which is part of the whole change that's going on for him. So Sarah and I are starting the process of interviewing potential new housemates again. <laughs> I it's like, like it was just yesterday. I know. We were filming this, but we're back. Here. But it was actually like 15 months, a year and a half nearly ago. Yeah, it was. But it feels yeah. like yesterday. Literally, yesterday. me saying again, like this happens all the time. <laughs> yeah. It's just been us three, actually. People but... do like living with us. Yeah. <laughs> well, we need to get a reference from Nathan for these people yeah, so they believe. Reference. Testimonial. <laughs> Yeah, we're besties and we need a third bestie mm. and we've got two guys booked in we're going guys only yeah, well we like so far because we like the dynamic yeah if the that's testosterone in the room yeah it does help yeah they can be friends with like Sarah's yeah. boyfriend it can be a good time so we've got two booked in this afternoon so we just needed to like debrief on what we know about them oh, my slipper fell off and yeah yeah do we need to we kind of have our questions like rehearsed, but at this point, mm. so. But sometimes I get in here and you just forget everything. Yeah, I and feel yeah. like that. I get real flustered. Yeah. I'm like, so, and you have to like walk them all the way down the hallway to get to the kitchen. Yeah. Oh, the flowers turned away. The dead flowers. I should move them. Um, and then by the time you get in here, you're like, so this is our place. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think of it? <laughs> Good morning, everyone. We have updates. We, Molly's got all excited because I told her we're going for a walk. Don't be a sec, doll. We met two guys and it was in fact the second guy that we kind of were more leaning towards just off based off like his profile I guess I don't know it's super weird I'm trying to like judge someone off their flatmates profile but we met him he was very chill very laid back he did not spend very long here like he didn't even ask us like what we do or really anything about us he didn't really care that much which we kind of liked because everything we're comparing to is how Nathan was when he moved in because obviously he turned out great and we're best friends now. So Nathan was also very like nonchalant, didn't really care that much, just a typical blokey bloke. So this guy seems cool, it's looking good, we sent him a message to say that we would like him to live with us. So it'll happen in like two or three weeks I think because Nathan's away so when he gets back he'll move his stuff out. Exciting, hope he wants to be on the vlog, I don't know, not sure. This is so random, but the local in Burley, it's literally called local, is doing free coffee from 6.30 till 11 on a Friday morning. I'm not sure if it's like just today or like maybe next Friday as well. But I was like, wow, such a random thing for me to do, but got myself free coffee. Mmm, delicious. Went on a nice walk. It I had to sleep in because still not 100% better. I definitely feel somewhat better than the last two days. I think I have more energy and I feel a bit clearer, but I still sound a bit blocked up. So hopefully I'll be fine for work tomorrow because I'm working Saturday shift. So on a Friday, I kind of feel like it's almost my Sunday, especially lately because I've been working until like 2, 2.30 2 in the Arvo on a Saturday and then going out like to drink and party. So then Sunday I like to just lounge around, lay in bed, sometimes allow for a hangover. So if I get all of my Sunday jobs, my washing, everything done, ready for the week on a Friday because I have the day off, it feels like now I'm like free for the weekend and I can go out, have a good time, not have to worry about you know if I've got food if I've got clean clothes all that so it's kind of like my errands day I just did my washing which is obviously important because I need a uniform for work and then also it's done for the week which is good and I don't need any groceries really I've got some meals oh I cooked a really yummy pasta did I tell you I didn't show you guys because oh that's right I was too distracted because I started cooking as soon as the two guys that we met left and Sarah and Blake and I were just debriefing on them and what we were thinking. So 
I didn't show you what I made, but I made like a tomato-y cream cheese pasta just with ingredients that I had left and some chicken. But yeah, I need to run to the post office. I need to go to Toyota actually, because I have a huge crack in my windscreen and it is already booked in for a service, but I need to like show them how big the crack is before I go to the service. So I'm gonna do that, but can I just show you the day? Like seriously, that is just unreal. Hello my loves. I have honestly not done anything exciting today and it honestly feels like this week has been kind of boring to vlog so I'm so sorry if it's not that exciting. However, next week I have a very exciting week, like something happening like almost every other day and it's jam packed, it's busy and I can't wait to vlog that. I'll definitely vlog the whole week. But right now I'm just doing a lot of admin. I'm essentially moving my any of my old courses and stuff that are still actually available well will be available once i get this sorted i'm moving them from one platform to another i'm moving them all across to squarespace which is where i host my website anyway so it just makes sense to have it all over there so that's just kind of time consuming um because i've got to make download all the video content and then upload it to the new platform but i'm also just creating a post for my ekm socials and everything because my old ea role with lj that i briefly did during like 2024 after georgie i kind of mentioned and i think in the last vlog that i caught up with her because we're both kind of going different directions and it's just we're not working together anymore but still friends and she has asked for me to put a call out to find hopefully someone that is a specialist in substack which is a platform that she is using and exploring to build a community on and i have absolutely no experience whatsoever so obviously i'm not the right fit but hopefully someone in my community is so i just thought i'd mention it here too while i'm vlogging because i'm going to put it on the ekm socials i'll reshare it too but yeah i personally don't know anyone um that is experienced with Substack. It's kind of like an online blog platform, but it's like you can build communities and forums and things like that. Um, and you can do like long form content. I'm pretty sure you can post audio on there. It's just like another platform, I guess, but a bit more for like, I want to say philosophical content, but like, I don't think it's necessarily all that. Like maybe there's some like music people or like creative industry people on there. I think that's kind of the vibe. But that's what I'm putting out. So if you or you know anyone who's an expert at Substack, please hit me up or hit up LJ because it'll be on my socials. You'll be able to find her contact. So that would be great. Hello, my loves. It is Saturday. I just got home from work. I'm loving the Saturday shift. That was like probably one of the busiest shifts I've ever had because the footpath works that are happening along the path in front of us along the beach that didn't make sense the beach footpath walkway the works there are almost done so it's a bit more open for foot traffic again and it was the most stellar perfect day like it has been the last couple of days so we were smash it was really good but i'm going to wrap up this vlog here my bestie lisa is coming for a little girl sleepover tonight catch up we haven't seen each other in ages so i think i might just not vlog that and then start a new one on Monday but I'm gonna stick to my schedule edit this now get it up for you tomorrow so I will see you next week